this video guys i'll show you a tool that is called auto gpt this is an artificial intelligence tool that is very very smart it uses gpt3 and gpt4 in the same time and you can use it to make different researches for any topic to build anything for you any project to show any information to find everything for you and the difference between chat gpt and auto gpt is a lot because uh, auto gpt is smarter and it works uh, in a longer time it makes create different tasks automatically so you just type a topic that you want to do and it will create a uh, different task and it will run all the tasks and find the better solution for you it will find more information uh from the latest uh, years not just like chat gpt that is uh, limited to to in the 2021 and it also will work with chat gpt4 or with gpt4 version it can also create images that can also speak and do a lot of things uh, today i'll show you two ways to run this tool there is a difficult way and an easy way first i will show you the difficult way which is running all the code directly into your computer and it will run into in the docker which i'll show you how to install and also there is another way that i'll show you after that it is the easiest way that just just go to website and it will do all the things for you just type the topic put the api key and run directly so let's get started with this video without losing time okay let's jump to the computer and here i have a, a repository of auto gpt and this is the code and everything every file that you need but before downloading and running this uh, repository in our computer first make sure to install a lot of things so for First is git, uh, download git for your computer, so git download and you can find the link in the description too. Uh, I'll use git because it's easier and faster for you. And here I have, you can download for Windows, uh, Apple or Linux. And the next thing is to download Python, so download Python search on google or you can find the link in the description again download python i recommend you a stable version which is 3.10 or 3.9 or 3.8 and the next thing is docker so make sure to install docker so docker here i have uh, to download it but make sure here if you are using a macbook with an apple chip make sure to click on this link if you are using a mac with intel chip like uh, i3 i5 or i7 you can go ahead with this version or if you are on windows or linux you can choose your computer so after downloading and installing it i'm not showing you how to download and install because i have already downloaded so what you have to do now is just to click uh, in the code and copy copy this link here so next open command line or uh, or command line on windows or terminal on mac so i just open a terminal and here I have terminal and what I have to do is to choose a location where I want to download. So I want to download in downloads folder. So I'll go to downloads folder with CD downloads, press enter here. I'm in a downloads and I'll type git clone and paste this link. And it's already downloaded because I have downloaded it before, but I will delete it for you and will show you again how to do that. So here I will delete it. I have also Docker downloaded. So just type again, git a clone and paste the link, press enter. And here it is, is downloaded and is downloaded, is finished. And then now what I have to do is to open Docker. So open Docker in your computer and make sure the Docker is started, the engine is started because we'll run a few commands. So after it is opened, uh, what I have to do is just to go back to the repository, scroll down a little bit and you'll find the uh, installation instructions so click on installation instructions and here is the website and what you have to do is just scroll down and you can find the instructions here so we clone the project we we go off uh, we are inside this folder so let's go inside this folder first so cd auto gpt dash gpt here we are inside and also you need a text editor because we'll uh, or a code editor that we'll need to edit the api because we'll put the api in the environment so i'll have vs code downloaded if you have vs code to just type code dot or you can just open vs code and open the folder inside this uh, project so here i have and what you have to do is just to go to dot env dot template and what you have to do is to rename this file so right click and click on rename and make sure to delete dot template so we need only dot env so now uh, the prob uh, the program or the auto gpt will know which is the environmental file so here i have only in the line 28 you have to put the your api key from openai so go back to the browser go to openai and search uh, open ai in the google api open ai api and click on the first link here we go we go to developers and click on documentation or api reference so i'll click 
API reference, but you can find the link on the description too. So here, click on personal in your account. Make sure you are logged in first. Just create an account. You can log in with Google. It's very easy. And then here on personal, here we have uh, the view API keys. Click on that. You can create a new uh, secret key. So click on new and put a name, whatever. So I would call it auto and click on uh, create secret key. And now make sure to copy this key and go back to the VS code and I'll paste it inside. After pasting, make sure to save the file with control and S or command S on Mac. And now we can close the VS code because we don't need it anymore. So now go back to the terminal and we have to run a few commands, but you can find these commands here on the setup. Uh, installation or the instructions here. So here uh, we put the env file. So we we edited the env file. Now we scroll down and is here is the section where we want to run the auto GPT. So run with Docker. We have Docker installed. So what you have to do is just type Docker compose build. So copy this command and put it inside the terminal and press enter. And this is going to install everything that is needed to run this program. So now it is installed in the Docker. And what I have to do now is just to run it. So here is the command to run, but Docker compose run the dash RM auto GPT. But you can also put some more informations here. So uh, if your API key is with GPT-4, which is a paid version of GPT. You can go ahead and use GPT-4 and run this command too. But if you have only GPT-3 and you can run uh, the command with these uh, parameters here, so uh, GPT-3 only, and also continuous. So continuous parameter is, a. Uh, let me make it larger for you. So continuous parameter is, it tells the auto GPT that to run continuously because every time when an when AutoGPT create a new task, it will ask you, do you want to continue with this task? Do you want to make some research on this task or something? And you have to always give permission and tell the browser to continue. So what you have to do with this command is just put this command and it will automatically run. But uh, you have to take care about this command because if you put this, it might run uh, infinitely and you have to stop it uh, manually. You have to stop the, the auto GPT manually. So, but anyways, for now, I will just run it to show you. So copy this command, make sure to copy Docker compose run auto GPT continuous, and then go back to the command line or the, the terminal and paste it. So now we paste it and it's going to create the container for you and it will start, start the container. And as you can see, uh, the chat GPT uh, or the auto bit GPT started and here it shows you GPT 3.5 only mode is enabled. And also uh, we are running continuously and it shows you a warning message that I, that I told you before. So now it is what you have to do now is just to run what you want to do. So for example, you can tell anything, you, the auto GPT will make anything for you. So you have a school project, you have something, you have to to do a job, you have to create, to make a whole research on something or a topic. It can do, it can do it on uh, just a few steps. So what I want to do, I want AutoGPT2. Uh, I want AutoGPT2 to, to list five best uh, ways to make money in 2023. We press enter. And the GPT or auto GPT will start autom automatically and do everything for you. So role. So as you can see, it, it puts a name for the, the session and creates the role and the goals. It automatically uh, creates goals for you. So what it, what this bot is going to do is going to analyze the market trends and identify industries to, to give you the best information, provide personalized recommendation based on the skills, interest and financial goals, and also conduct through research, continuously monitor the performance and income. Oh, and will and by doing this task, all these goals here, it will find you the best information and the best research for you. So it will search on Google and it will show different for information and then it will think and do uh, the best and pick the best informations for you. So this is going to run for maybe a long time. And after that, it will you'll give you the download file and you can also copy the text if you want to and it will give you the best information. But now I'll show you the easiest way on how to run this because doing all this set setup maybe might be a little tricky or a little hard for some uh, people. So I just 
just skipped it very very fast and i did very very fast because i know a lot a lot of you are not interested but the easiest way now is just to go i'll stop it for now for now and to stop it is just to type a control and c and as you can see it's aborted and i will close terminal and i will go to the browser because here we will run the auto gpt through the web and now here on google what i have to do is just to type agent gpt so search on google for agent gpt and go to the first link here so uh, this is agent gpt is just the auto gpt but it is in a version where you can uh, where where we can run just uh, in the browser so here you can put a name for your agent or for your, your auto gpt for your bot and then the goal what you want to do uh, first uh, you can run this directly if you want just put type the name here whatever name you want and the goal but uh, it will might stop after sometimes because it is using their api and is limited so it, it has a time limit but if you don't want to have limits you can just go to settings and put your api key i have already put my api key here and the api key i showed you how to find it from a open api website that i showed you before what you have to do is just to paste this key here choose the language you want and choose the version so gpt 3.5 or gpt 4 if you have paid for gpt 4 which is with payment uh, you can go ahead and choose gpt 4 but for now i haven't paid for it so i'll use gpt 3.5 turbo so uh, here we have advanced settings with temperature and everything so temperature is just like how complex or how creative you want to make your bot or the gpt but uh, i think this is the best uh, configuration here i don't have to do it a lot so you can just save it and now you just type a name so uh i will type this uh money an agent and uh here i'll sh i'll type the same goal so list uh, five best ways to make money in 2023 so now click on deploy agent and here it will start automatically will create different tasks and will uh, complete all the tasks and give you the best informations the best informations and best researches will show you on green and then after that you can just click on export and you can export as image or a pdf as image is is nice because uh, it shows you a whole image with all the information but the best thing is to export it as pdf because you can copy this information and it is easier for you to copy from pdf and it will sh you can use directly on word or anything else so i'll wait sometimes for this to finish and i'll get back soon okay guys i'm back and as you can see auto gpt is still running but uh this might run infinitely without stopping but you have to stop it uh auto manually by clicking the stop agent and as you can see now here on current task uh, some tasks are with green so are completed and you have really decent information here that you can find that you can download and it, it will find it founded the best researches ever so the, the auto gpt is going to um, automatically run again and again uh, research after research analyze after analyze and finding the best information and it will come a point with where you you don't have to run it uh, a long time so here i think I have, I have to stop it so i'll click stop agent so stop the agent click the red button and now i can click on export and first i'll show you how it shows an image so export as image will download you an png file and here is a very big uh, image, really long one. And here, if I zoom it, it will show you all the information. You can actually copy uh, and even from the uh, from the image uh, if you want. This is actual image, but uh, I'll show you also with PDF. And here, as you can see, with green, we have the test completed and are the best information that are found. So here in the first one, you have investing in renewable energy com companies, investing in artificial intelligence. As you can see, it also knows that AI is becoming very popular recently. So it is it showed the AI too. starting a small business, investing in emerging markets, investing in real estate. So we have another one, artificial intelligence. Uh, cybersecurity analyst, digital marketing, health, healthcare, and we have a lot more information you can pick. And but most of the times, uh, the the latest one are the best information, the best researches that our HBT does. So here we have artificial intelligence, healthcare, renewable energy, cybersecurity, and data science, which are the best ways to make money on 2023. So if you want to do that, just go ahead and run and go through these uh, five 
top topics that you can uh, do but uh, also we have another way if you go to uh, agent gpt or auto gpt you can click export and click on pdf which will download a pdf file of all the information and you can use this pdf to get the best information too so here you can directly copy as you can see we have if you go to the end here we have the top five and you can copy from this file so guys, here is how you can use AutoGPT. It's very it's becoming very popular recently, and I really recommend you to go through it and just check it out just for fun because uh, it's it's just the latest technology right now, the the latest uh, artificial intelligence, and ev maybe everybody's going to use it. So I really recommend it going through it. So uh, this was a video for today. Hopefully you'll like it. Please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of topics or this kind of videos. And I see you in the next video. Peace.